cleaning shrine. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So we can clear this out a little bit faster. Do you do anything with that? No. Anything up here? Why did I even come this way? See? Fleeting. So, so good. Everybody else keeps up with me with that. Uh, if you are playing co-op, uh, the shrines do have an area of effect on them, so uh, feel free to, to run up to them and grab them when your partner's nearby, and they'll get the bonuses, too. Very nice. And here we have made it to the bridge. We I think it is time for you to know my true tale. What are you talking about? I was about to say, here we would have been stopped before, uh, because you would not have been able to see that the bridge was actually there the whole time, I think, is what they're going for. I am not from Chaldeum. I learned these spells 1,500 years ago. What? My sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained us and placed us in a magical slumber to awaken in this era. I am to prevent the Lords of Hell from invading. This is an age of omens and prophecies. Yours is but one more. You are welcome to fight by my side. Damn straight she is. So, yes, I'm going to be taking the Enchantress instead of the Templar. Let's fight this evil together. Because she's better. So, I kind of spoiled it for a little bit there that she was actually going to be joining us. I thought it was pretty obvious. You know, we don't really have that many people following us. Uh, she comes with a staff with plus two intelligence. Uh, she gets more damage by intelligence. I should probably point this out. Templar uh, needs strength, and the uh, scoundrel needs dexterity. They all kind of need uh, vitality, but those are, those are how they do damage. So, for her, um, I think... Oh, well, actually... Yeah, any pretty much any t level I two. Uh, new skill. Yes, I'll give it to you in a second. Shut up. Uh, anything that's two-handed is good. Uh, we're gonna give her one of the rings that I was I holding on to. Yeah, damn straight you will. Is this. <sighs> yeah, this is better than what I had. Damn it! I just crafted you. But. No, uh, no. Uh, oh God. I want the plus, but no. No. Fine. Why do they make me do this? Why do they make me choose? Uh, eat uh, barbarian only. So, once again, you'll want to give her something two-handed with intelligence if you can. Anything that gives her intelligence is always good. Knock, knock back or fight for me. Knock back. Every time. A wise choice. I know I've said knockback is not good, but I meant for me, for her, it kind of keeps things off of me from time to time, keeps stuff off of her. Forceful push is definitely better than charming an enemy. That might be good, but, you know, might not. Uh, if you hit this, you can actually retrain them, but I don't really need to do that just now, yet. to find the Kasim outpost. You will find it to the north, though it is still some distance away. Oh, that is a damn. Powerful foe over there. Damn, they've got knockback. Knockback does slow me down. Oh, when they hit me. I don't think it works that way when I knock them back, but it does for them. Oh, no you don't. Full heal. No, don't do damage to me, I guess. Ah, good pressure. What does that even say? It just says slow. That is what I have trained for. A wooden bow? Oh, like a staff. I'm on you. What is this? Lady. <laughs> Wouldn't have helped me that much in battle anyway. But we do have a dungeon. Let's go into the deserted cellar. It's not going to be big. So we have already found out that the Kasim outpost is probably going to be a trap. We found that out in one of the journals. And he was like, I'd set up a trap there. Ah, well, thank you. New record, 20 objects. Oh, I'll do more than that later, I'm sure. Nothing here, really? With this fleeting thing, we're doing a ton. Let's see how much, how high I can get it. Oh, get over there. I think you can get an achievement if you can get 50. Oh, I could have done it here. I could have. Wasn't fast enough. Wasn't fast enough. Yeah, sometimes I go for the achievements. If there's something that looks easy enough, I should say. Not, let's see. Yeah, I figured there'd be something in here. Oh, shit. No. Of course, you can't bring this guy closer to you. Lord of Worms, Gra Gravel Jaw, the Devourer. 
Almost dead. Down he goes. And now I get the lore. Oh, wait, is this... The rockworm may very well be the ugliest creature ever to blight the world with its presence. Bereft of any features aside from its massive jaws, the rockworm appears to be a giant invertebrate. I should like to study it further, but its burrowing tendencies make it extraordinarily difficult to track. Right. Holy crap. This is a tunnel that shows up when you kill that guy. Uh, this is the only way to get into this uh, this dungeon. Very nice that I was able to get that. I'm looking out, to be honest with you, with the dungeons and, and the events and, and all that kind of stuff this time. I didn't, you know, I only got one of the uh, one of the ingredients. Uh, I should say the bonus ingredients, but um, you know, that's that's those things are so rare that that's to be expected. As you can see. As I haven't equipped the Enchantress with anything, she's doing base 6 damage, which I think is more than the Templar was doing with the equipment that I gave him. Like the best, this, this other best uh, one-handed stuff that I could find. That wasn't Barbarian only. Like, mm. She is, she's by far better. Of course, me being the tank, it's very, very easy to assume that I would want a mage with me, and that's what, that's what she is. She, obviously, she's a mage. You can see her doing all that magic damage. Have become weary of strife, of constant fighting? It doesn't matter if we're tired. We still must fight. Uh, <laughs> you are not very good at lifting the spirits of others. What? Is that important for something? And I don't think I got that rockworm lore before. The bestiary entry, I should say. Like, yeah, you have to fight that specific one in order for it to show up. Why that is, I don't know. And he can, from what I remember, he can show up... Oh, I cut off its head. <laughs> he can show up just randomly in the desert, too. So he's very hard to find at times. You know, if you're, if you're trying to get him, if you're farming, trying to get that guy, he can be difficult. Uh, but I lucked out. Found him here. In a dungeon. Well, in a cellar, I should say. Holy crap. Uh, I hate to waste that when I don't have revenge, but these guys need to stop attacking me. And down you go. All that for nothing. And then usually they drop a health club, which is always nice. Gets me back up to full health almost every time. Okay, these guys need to die because they will snipe me. Then we can come down here and fight. Oh, well, he came up to fight me. Uh, I didn't cut off his head that time. Not as fun. And... Oh, we've already found the resplendent chest. Right next to another chest. Come on, let's take it. Oh, God. I just... I love seeing everything on screen and then picking it up. Um... No, we're still fine. We're, uh, because whenever we start finding, like, the third higher than what I am, yeah, that's when I'm like, maybe I should. 250 life and I have 600 and... 18, so it's still doing a substantial portion. It's not like it's nothing. Ah! Get the rockworm! Off with his head! Get the warrior! Oh shit. I've been healed. Yes. We you were getting them closer. What? Who is them? Dead iron wolves. You're gonna find those everywhere. They're just freaking. I don't know what happened to them, but they. They're not as good as they used to be. Just grab everything that I can. Probably should go up here, check to make sure there's nothing more up here waiting for me. A uh, larva sack! That can be destroyed and just causes a whole bunch of poison damage. I think we have seen those before. But that's what they do. That must have been an enemy. <laughs> like, what? That's usually something I could click. And, jeez, this place is huge. It's only the one floor, right? Because it, it didn't say level one. So there's only the one floor here. Fully going to explore it. Another fleeting shrine would have been nice. Oh, no, you don't. I know you, warrior. You do a lot, you, you got a lot of damage heading my way. My pack is full. Wait, really? Holy crap. Well, we're still going to move on. But next thing that drops, I'm going to have to go back to town. Holy crap. 
figured for sure when I said that. But there's that. a powerful <gasps> foe over there. Well, he walked over and then buried himself. Oh. No. Nope. Yes, just keep doing that every time it shows up. And down he goes. And now I do need... Well, I can pick up that, but... I'm for, carrying too for, much. Yes, I know. For that... I need to kill these guys. Oh! Freaking rockworm ate me again. How dare you. I'm oh, healed. Sliced him right up the middle or something like that. Okay, so nothing more for me to do here. Well, in terms of my inventory. So we're going to head back to town. I'll we'll see if there's anything new that I can get. We'll see if I can equip the enchantress or something. Pro I might steal from the Templar in order to do that. And I'll be right back. So while I was in town, I was tr talking to everybody so they get rid of that little blue asterisk. And... I found this. Lisa. The city has many secrets, and I still remember most of them. Right I there. can get into Chaldeum through the sewers if I avoid the Imperial Guard. While I'm out, my friend has sworn to take down Magda. It won't bring Uncle Deckard back, but we'll all be relieved when she's gone. Okay. So apparently she figured out she can go through the sewers there. Yeah, I didn't know that was there. Uh, in terms of equipment, I do have... Uh, couple pieces of new equipment. I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was... Yeah, the boots are new. Um, I can craft those at level 18, and I believe I changed my chest armor too. Regenerate 2 life per second and plus vitality. Uh, I tried to get more uh, shoulders, you know, made one more. That's kind of my limit. Each time I'm in town, I'm like, I'll make one, even though I have plenty of subtle essences. Uh, I could actually try to level those up to the next level, but it wouldn't be worth it at this time. Let's go back to the tunnels. I'll finish clearing this out, and then we'll continue going through the whatever was above this, because I've already forgotten. Uh, destroy the egg sacs! They are in the way. Uh, while I was talking to the next brawler, uh, I remembered a couple things. Number one, um, well, he, he reminded me of a couple of things, I should say. Uh, number one, no damage to durability in the duels. Um, you don't actually really die either. Um, the, yeah, it, it's, it's separate like that. Have I fully explored this place? I have. Let's get out of here. Luckily, they did put one of these at the end. Back to the deserted cellar. Ready to start everything in here. So... No durability loss, no real death, no real consequences for going in there, right? You, you just get the bonuses without any of the consequences. Very nice. All the benefits. There we go. Oh, God. I ripped them like six pieces. That was awesome. Nice cord. Reptilian, so it gives me plus per second once again. Um, I, I love the plus per second, to be honest with you, because... It just adds to everything that I'm already doing with heal. So now with the plus per second, I don't actually need to do damage to heal. I can just heal by just standing there, which is always nice. Never have to use the the healer in town unless it's a really slow heal and you act pretty damn hurt. But I've never had to, you know, like run away and use a town portal, which isn't really even possible because of how long it takes to cast the town portal spell, I guess you could say. Uh, we never really got an explanation for that, uh, why why our hero was able to do that. Oh, for the record, uh, by canon um, logic, what the canon says is that in Diablo 2, you co-opt and won. Um, there, there were multiple heroes that did everything in Diablo 2. So, interesting kind of way to think about it. You know, in Diablo 1, you didn't do it. In Diablo 2, you didn't do it by yourself. And I think, it, you know, should they do a Diablo 4, which, to be honest, I don't think do they will do. you see that enemy over there? Let us cleanse it from this land. Probably you co-opt and won this one too. They they like to assume that if there is multiplayer, teleporters. If there is multiplayer, that you're using it. So that's just the way that they think. Not necessarily the way that it's actually being done. But 
should there be Diablo 4, that's what I'm going to assume that they would do. But once again, I assume there isn't going to be one because of how this ends. I assume this is the final. The final game. There might be expansions, though. A foulness hangs in the air. We must gimme, be getting gimme, closer. Gimme. Nice. I will take that, and I will make more subtle essences out of it, most likely. Step on the snake! Like I said, this is probably going to end up being a trilogy. I, they haven't really announced anything about it, but that's the way that I see it. It should end here. I'm, if they want to try to find a way to bring it back, you know, I can't. Who am I to say that that doesn't work, but that's the way I see it. I need to find the Kasim outpost. I, I will say this, this game does have some nice ending... To, to everything that we've been going through. Ah, ah. I hate when they do a, a huge group of enemies and then put the, the wasps or whatever in the back. What are you guys? Yeah, you are wasps. Because then I'm like stopped by... stopped by other enemies so that they can hit me with their freaking babies. Dune Thresher! I, I don't understand. Why? Why do so many games insist on putting things in there that can travel through sand? Why? Why do things work out like that? Is there anything up here? What? You know, it probably there there sometimes spawns a person that will let you in there. That's probably what that's for. That's just a guess, though. Let's continue on. We still haven't found an amulet for my character. We still haven't found any jewels to put into my helm. I'm not sure I'm liking it. Ow. That's why you stuck. I think I was just out of range. There we go. Wanted to do it again when everybody got close, but I couldn't. Uh, Kasim Outpost we are still looking for. I'm trying to remember if there's like an, a second exit out of here. Stinging winds. I think this... We can stay here. Yeah, the lost caravan. Yeah, this is this is fine. No! Damn it! Ugh. Die. So we need to head up here. And here we do have a shaman! Oh, shit. We got a shaman again. Uh, if you don't remember from Diablo 2, if you didn't play it, <laughs> uh, this guy will time. this guy will resurrect others. Though the champions are larger and the lunatics more devastating, it is the shaman priests who lead the fallen. These shrunken, unintimidating demons can easily kill an enemy with their firebolts, but it is their ability to resurrect their imp allies that allows them to command such high respect from their peers. Yeah, definitely, you want to kill them first. Uh, did I... Yeah, this is still all the same map, so... I, I feel comfortable hanging out here. So, we'll grab this. Kill this guy. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the lost caravan. Why? Hmm. Why it would change like the the name of the area like that? We're still in the lost caravan here. Oh shit! God. Ah, just come here. Come here. No, no, no. Ah, stun. Once again. They're doing the same damn thing. We got a jailer here. All right, we need to take out. Oh, be at the elusive one. No, how elusive are you when I stun you, huh? Oh, I need to use my hammer now. What am I doing? No, oh. get back here. Ah, I got you. You didn't jail me far enough away, did you? Get up. Die. I learned much from that. I bet you did. That was a long ass battle. We're still technically in it though. Yeah. Die. Okay, that is it. Holding alt so I can see everything again. I think I picked up a couple things that I didn't want to. We'll deal with that in a second. Dead beast doesn't have anything in it. Any of this have anything good? A petrified trunk. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh crap. 
Still haven't looked to see if I'd picked up anything that was decent. I don't have anything to identify though, so that's fine. Okay, did I pick up anything crappy? Just one. Lots of belt. Holy crap. You know, I find a good belt and then they they just start handing me belts. That's just the way that the game thinks, I think. <laughs> like, oh, you found a good one that you won't want to replace? You sure? Here's 20 of them. I th I'm still pretty sure that this is all considered part of the same area. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't remember the stinging winds. Ah, Revenge doesn't have the range that Ground Stomp does. I don't like that. I'll bring him in even closer than that. Okay, so let's head back down here. This is, yeah, this is a new area. I don't remember this. I must have breezed through this pretty quickly before. Yeah, okay. I haven't picked up anything that I don't need. Let's head down here. You know what? I can just scroll. I'm trying to remember. 